What's up guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday, the commentary series where I sit down and talk about anything technology related. Now in today's video, I thought of a cool idea to talk about how drones are affecting people's lives, especially in emergency situations. Now during this commentary series, my Tech Talk Tuesday commentary series, I've talked about drones and how they affect people's lives in negative ways, I've talked about the negative stigmas, I've talked about how they benefit people's businesses, but today I thought I would talk about how they're saving people's lives, and the reason that this kind of came to mind, this video topic, is because of this PDF file that was, that was released by DJI, filled with some research that they did. If you guys want to follow along, I'm going to be referencing this throughout the video. You can click the Dropbox link down in the description, and it should take you there to the Dropbox link, of course, where you can download this PDF file or just look at it right in your web browser. And again, it's just filled with some research that DJI did about drones saving lives. The big thing that DJI was really trying to get across in this article is that drones were saving one life per week on average. And if we look on the fourth page of this PDF or of this research that they've released, it says that between May 2016 and February 2017, 38 lives were saved over 42 weeks. Drones saved almost one life per week on average. Now it's kind of an unimpressive stat, like one life per week really isn't all that crazy. It's nothing to really drop your jaw at. But it is cool to see how much progress drones have made. And I think that right now with the drones on the market, you're not really going to get all that much saving power done with them. I mean, you can't lift all that much with the Maverick or the Phantom 4 or even the Inspire. I know that the Matrice can lift, I think, 2 kilograms. But again, I mean, that's really nothing compared to the weight of some things that you would need to lift. Now, I know that these drones are good for spotting people. I think that that's one thing that they really did try to highlight. Like with the use of thermal cameras and with just the regular cameras, they did a good job at trying to find people uh, you know, trapped during floods or even people that were missing during snowstorms with the thermal imaging camera. It really did come in handy. Uh, now starting off from the, from the beginning of this article, it says that unmanned aircraft systems allow people to accomplish tasks faster, more efficiently, and at a lower cost, and in many cases more safely than in the past. And I do have to say that they're correct in this statement. Even look at videographers when you're trying to get a shot of, let's say, a bridge or of someone walking. You don't need to go out and get an expensive helicopter with a camera on it. You can get this little drone with an awesome camera and you get a cool picture or cool video of yourself. I mean, these things are becoming so cheap now that it's almost easy to go out and buy a Phantom 3 standard and use it to film yourself. Now on top of filming yourself, you can also do things like construction work or real estate. I mean, both of those things I do right now for my dad to help him out for his business, and it definitely has made a difference as it allows him to see a map of his property or even see different pictures that he wouldn't be able to see without a drone of his houses that he builds as well as foundations and whatnot. I know that I have a few pictures where I was able to look right down on the foundation of a house and it was the outline of the whole thing. It really did look pretty cool. Now jumping down to the next thing that I found important throughout this PDF file were a list of bullet points that had some different statistics and facts. So I'll read off the first three as that seems to be the most important and then underneath of there they kind of get too specific like talking about civilian drones versus um, enterprise drones. Uh, so first of all it says at least 59 lives have been saved by civilian drones in 18 different incidents. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next is that 38 of those lives were saved in just less than 10 months, as drones are increasingly adopted by rescuers and civilians alike. So again, it's saying that drones are becoming more popular, which they are. I feel like everyone is talking about right now getting their first drone, especially the people commenting on my videos that are saying that they're purchasing their first drone, which is awesome. I read a stat on Twitter, I don't know if this is true, uh, but the FAA said that by 2019, there's going to be 7 million drones on the market, or uh, 7 million drones owned, which is cool. I feel like that's a fairly impressive number, and it's only going to keep growing from there. Uh, now next, it says that based on this experience, drones are saving almost one life a week on average. So again, there's that stat. They really are trying to push that throughout this whole entire article. They want to let you know that drones are really out there saving lives, and I totally believe it, and they really are trying to persuade a lot of other people who are anti-drone that drones can help. After the statistics that I just read to you guys, it goes on and lists those 18 incidents. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read all of them to you guys. I'll pick out about five of them that I like and really stood out to me. Uh, so basically, for these incidents, they give you the country it happened in, the date, the amount of lives saved, as well as a little description. Uh, so first of all, the one that I liked that kind of stood out to my eye is drone finds trapped soldiers after flood. 
that happened in China on the 1st of September in 2016, and three lives were saved. So that's pretty cool. After a flood, some uh, lives were saved and their soldiers, which just kind of makes it better in my opinion. Uh, next, we have drones saving lives off of beaches. Two lives were saved, and that is on the 27th of October in 2016. Now, thinking about this or reading that has kind of opened my mind to maybe replace, well, they can't really replace lifeguards, but imagine having drones patrolling the beaches, looking in the waters for animals that could be dangerous to humans, like sharks or maybe even whales. If you guys saw, I got some footage of whales 50 feet off of the beach. That footage was incredible. I can't believe I was able to capture that. Uh, but anyway, just having drones patrolling the beach, being able to see if people are drowning, being able to see if there are animals in the water, I think that that's a really cool concept, and I think that could take off in just a couple of years as drones become more mainstream. Uh, next, we have Lost Hiker Found with Drone. It says that one live was saved. Obviously, it's one hiker. That was on the 26th of November in 2016. As you guys know, I love hiking, and especially at nighttime, if you're able to fly a drone around, maybe pick up a heat signature, that would be awesome. And finding hikers can be tough, as there's usually a bunch of woods around you when hiking. Uh, so again, hats off to that guy, that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have heat sensing drone finds kayakers at night. Two lives were saved, that, uh, the date on that is the 14th of January in 2017. Now I can almost picture this in my mind, someone goes kayaking, they get stuck on the water, uh, you know, the night falls, and then after that, obviously maybe their parents didn't hear from them, or maybe their friends, or whatever, didn't hear from them, so they went out searching for them, flew a drone down the river, and were easily able to spot them using heat signatures. So again, I mean, it would take forever for people to go up and down that lake, look everywhere for them, and especially without the aid of thermal cameras, it would be super tough to be able to see someone. So it's so cool that a drone could just fly over top and pick someone out. Now the final thing, uh, again, this kind of pertains to me, uh, it says drone finds lost skiers and snowboarders. Lives saved were four and that happened on the 20th of February in 2017, so just this year. Now that's really cool, again, I guess it was on a bigger mountain and it was probably a little later at night and again, I'm guessing they used uh, the thermal imaging cameras which kind of seems to be a theme throughout all of these incidents. It seems that the drone is either bringing supplies to someone, saving or saving people by finding them with their camera. Uh, so again, two things that really do seem like they're the theme of these incidents. I don't think that drones are really necessarily being used right now to lift people. I think that in the future, bigger drones being able to lift people would be awesome. But I think that for right now, they're only limited to finding people or bringing supplies. Underneath of those incidents that were listed, they went on to tell us how they did their research, which I think is fairly important, as some people could sit back here and say that this research is fake or they don't have their facts straight, but it really does seem like they do as they have this whole six-page document. Uh, so first of all, it says that to qualify for our account, a news report was required to indicate that one, a person was in a state of danger that could imperil his or her life and that a drone operation played a material role in, re er, in returning that person to an environment of personal safety. So basically, first of all, the person had to be in danger, and second of all, the drone played a key role in finding that person or in aiding them to safety. Now, I think that there's a lot of other times where drones did play a role in finding someone, but it really wasn't the main role, and that wasn't the highlight of the whole article. Uh, so this definitely does kind of have an undercount. It says right here, actually, that this count does not include many other reported incidents in which drones indirectly helped save lives. Uh, so again, I think that this count is kind of off, and I think that it's actually underestimated. I think that there's definitely a lot more times where drones do save lives. In fact, they said something about a flood in India, where actually 200 people were found by using drones, but they couldn't find sufficient evidence on it, so they didn't include it in their data. Now, as far as the article goes, that's about all that I'm going to cover. The rest of it talks about the difference between civilian drones and commercial drones, and then goes to talk on about FAA regulations. So I'm not going to get into all that, but I do think that I covered the meat and potatoes of this entire article, which was the first three pages, which pretty much told us about the incidents, how they gained their research, and also how many lives were being saved, which again is the topic of this article and of this video. After sitting down and reading this and really thinking about it, it has me excited for the future of drones and how they work their way into our everyday lives. And I see big, three big things happening right now and also kind of in the works. And the first one is obviously saving lives, whether it's locating people, bringing them supplies, etc., etc. They really do have a lot of power when trying to find things or deliver things as it's a cheap and efficient way to do so. 
Now the next thing is delivering packages. This is on the forefront of drone technology in my opinion. I mean the way that Amazon is doing it is great and even the way that UPS is doing it is great by taking drones off from their trucks. I think that that is just a little more practical than the way that Amazon is going, but that's for a whole nother video. And then the third thing is obviously videography. Everybody probably has a drone for pictures or videos as they do give you such a cool perspective and are so powerful when trying to create a video or even movie. So guys, that about wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of drones and saving lives or even just every day in the real world. This was kind of a different type of video. Usually the videos I try to create are informational for people to learn from, but today was me sitting down and kind of starting a conversation as I feel like me talking about this kind of promotes the use of drones and also hopefully gets those negative stigmas out of people's heads as drones really are good and especially in the hands of the right people can be a lot of help. So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.